What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Trench Grenade channel. I am your host, the one reload, one hater that your mom said that you have at home. We are out on the ranch today, so bear with any gunfire here in the background. And very quickly, guys, check the description. We are now sponsored by Palmetto State Armory. Um, check the link down below. Thank you for their help and keeping this channel alive, as well as the Patreon. It's $5 a month. Get down in the description and check it out if you want to support the channel. We have the co-star of the channel here today, Big Will, and we are talking about the one reload, one Colt. So, uh, no... No joke that you worry, you're on the internet, on Instagram, and all you see is this dude going beep, and he's doing a one reload one. But that's all you ever see him do is one reload ones. What are your thoughts on that man? I mean, so those drills in themselves aren't too bad. Um, they're really good for training, but you have to you have to work in other types of drills in there. Like you can't just go out to the range just to do, you know, one reload one. Like you have to be able to move, shoot, and eventually communicate mm -hmm. um that's why me me and trench come out here all the time and work on different drills like we set up different drills out here and come up with different ideas just so that we can be flexible and you know have like a vast amount of knowledge on how we can like actually shoot and move out here so running that one drill isn't going to help you any all any 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 bit like is it is it useful as part of your overall routine it's the same way as hitting biceps is useful for hitting like back day right but it's an accessory so yes do i need to be able to engage get the old mag out get a new mag in and hit the slide yes it is a good skill to use but it shouldn't be your primary right and that, like, that's a really that's a really good analogy because like you can go to the gym and do biceps every single day yeah eventually your biceps are huge but you got to worry about the other parts of your body like you have to be a whole a wholesome person yeah so guys if you're on the range and one reload ones uh are your favorite thing or if like you come out here and all you do is a build drill you draw you do six rounds on the target and you immediately slam the gun back into the holster and don't do any any sort of uh actual movement yes you're going to be really good at follow-up shots from one position static but you need to be able to move up to a spot fire reload do a bunch of other things other than just the actual one old mag out new mag in slide forward and fight uh, one round because then you're not getting any sort of follow-up shots you're not going to be able to uh, you're not going to have any practice actually getting a second round with a proper grip so yeah. you're never going to know if you have a proper grip on the weapon um, so yes are one reload one are they important okay they're important as part of your overall training plan not as the hey today we're going to go to the range and all we're going to do is one r ones because it's 2016 and it's the hype on instagram you know what i'm saying um, so guys, when you're out on the range, don't get all so caught up in the one, one reload ones. Yes, incorporate it every now and then to get those reload reps in. But guess where else you can get rep re, uh, reloads in? Dry fire at home. You can, well, draw, bomb, you know, old mag out, new mag in, and then freaking re-engage. But then you can need, you need to actually focus on that proper grip. Okay, don't just get into the habit of cracking that round off as fast as you can and then getting the new mag in and cracking that round off as fast as you can. No, because yeah. now you're sacrificing accuracy for uh, something for a muscle memory, really. Um, so yes, are one reload ones important? Yes, but they're important the same as biceps are important. With you don't just go to the, you don't go to the gym and do bicep day. You do back and buys. Mm -hmm. So that's the best way I could explain it. <sighs> Any closing thoughts on the one reload one operator cult? Stay deadly. Don't do one drill. Do them all. Do, yeah, do like six drills and then bring them all together. All right, guys. Check out the Patreon. Check out the links below. We're going to get back. We're going to show you a bunch of one reload ones on the back side of this video. Uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, Big Will's Instagram and everything will be in the link below. Follow him. He does a bunch of lifting and stuff on his channel. And uh, you can ask him all the stuff if you have questions about uh, the gym or training, whatever. Same thing that we cover on the channel. All right, guys. Patreon. Thanks. Shout out to Palmetto State Armory and Right to Bear Arms uh, for legal protection in the description. They keep us funded if you use the links that they give us. All right, guys. Have a good night. Don't do one reload ones by themselves. Cheers. All right, Big Will is now going to run the one reload one approximately 10 times in a row. All right, shooter ready. You already got your empty mag in? Yep. All right, shooter ready. Stand by. Time 4.45. Go and reset. Practice resetting up in your workspace too. Same way for the reloads. 
practice resetting up here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, shooter ready. Stand by. There you go. Way better. 5.58, but the muscle, the movement was smoother. Yeah. Okay. All right, reset. There you go. In the workspace, all times. We need to get you some S Tag mag pouches. I think you'd like them better. Probably. Ready. Stand by. Good. 4.81. Reset. I'm going to switch the camera angle around to the side. All right. Shooter ready. Stand by. There you go. Time. 5.07. Three more times. Now you can see this isn't doing anything for your follow-up shots. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's just it's just literally a reload. Yeah. Drill. Shooter ready. Stand by. All right, time 5.40. Sorry, I was staring at the target. Ignore this. All right, shooter ready. Stand by. Five point one three. A couple more times. Shooter ready. Stand by. Four point seven three. Um, guys, he has mostly alphas, probably two to three Charlies on the target. Shooter ready, stand by. Okay, good. Both alphas, four point four zero. A couple more. You're getting faster and more and smoother, but this just tells me just dry fire more with one reload ones. Shooter ready, stand by. Good, both alphas. All right. Okay, perfect timing. Okay, guys. So those are big wheels, one reload ones. I'm gonna do a few more for you, and then we'll close out this one reload one video. Nothing discussed in today's video should be taken as legal advice or as a substitute for legal advice. Always remember the four rules of firearm safety. Treat your weapon as if it is loaded at all times. Keep your finger straight off the trigger until you're ready to engage. Be aware of your target and its surroundings and never point your weapon to anything you don't intend to destroy. The Discord server is live. Get in there, get some gaming buddies and some buddies to train with. The Patreon is live. It is the only source of funding for the channel. It, if, if you're interested in it, get over there and check out the Patreon. We could sure use your help. Thanks. You know how much dirt I just got in the face from that mag? <laughs> Time, 4.11. All the mud right in the face. <laughs> like 3.67, but there's no follow-up shot. You know what I mean? Yeah. That uh, that mud is getting caked up in the weapon. Same with mine. Four point eight nine. It slowed me down. And guys, just to show you what we're talking about, we're basically putting mud and in, deliberately into our weapon. So tonight we are gonna have to actually do a bunch of weapons maintenance. How's is the camera still Should good? Should always do it. Looking good over there. Four point two one. Ah. Let me just take all this sand, throw it into my M9. Like, yeah, like 3.62. Like, okay, it's good for muscle memory, but it's fun. If you want to adjust the camera angle, you can. 
like, yeah, is it fun to shoot my M9 at 10 feet, one reload one's cool. But I, it's just such a small part of the diet. You know what I mean? That was a 3.75. Yeah, I know what's happening. I'm getting mud up in that mechanism. Yeah. I'm basically, this is turning into some sort of pseudo, that was in a 4.82. I can feel that. <laughs> that was a 4.16. I can just feel all that crap in there. A couple more, guys. Three point six six. Oh, two empty mags. Okay. My guns never malfunction. I can see that guy right now, <laughs> but they're slowly seeing me put all this mud up in my <laughs> up in my weapon right now. Can you see the mud flying up out of, off the weapon? 4.41. Gotta get some cleaning in. Oh! Oh, Lord. My weapon never malfunctions. Well, I guarantee you we're gonna see a malfunction with the Beretta here in a minute. We'll see. Hey, it's my carry gun now. <laughs> we'll show them the target real quick. Because there's gonna be the haters that are like, I bet he's not even aiming. Okay, look at everything that's not covered in purple. That was this is you from earlier. Well, mm -hmm. uh, but most of this is me, right? Uh, I'll, I think that was me as well. I think one of these is me and one of these is you. Um, we should have showed it, but yeah, guys, actually aim when you're doing your one reload ones. Let's do a few more. You want to switch targets on this one? Yeah. Ah, it's gritty. All right, ready? See, like, I'm noticing I got to fix my grip. Ugh. But that's about it as far as training. That was a 3.65. Three point six two. Holy cow! Dirt. Three point seven two. This is actually fun. I love how I'm making a hating video on. Can you see everything? Yeah. I'm making a hating video on one reload ones, but then I'm out here having fun doing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> You want to do some? You got yeah. ammo? Yeah. Okay. I'll show them this mag while we switch out. Holy cow. Actually, no, I don't. You can't even stage that. I mean, that's what's going in the Beretta every time. Just a ton of sand and all this is what's staying up in there. And every time I pull the trigger, it's just throwing all that brat or all that dirt right up out of there. And I'll show you. I mean, this thing is getting insanely, insanely dirty, guys. But I love it. I love it. You can see all that mud getting caked up in there. Yeah. Big Will, would it be safe to say that one reload ones are fun? They are. They're fun. They are fun to do, guys. I mean, I, we're, we're out here, we're hating on them, but then you end up doing a bunch of them. You start getting better and better. I mean, it is something you can do for dry fire. But uh, we're just topping off mags real, real quick, guys. One thing, if you're on a range like mine, uh, and this thing is crazy sandy out here, um, you are going to have, your weapon is going to be tested. Um, my Beretta right now is getting, I showed them a second ago. Um, yeah, I'll just show you right now. I mean, it's getting a ton, all that that ends up up here. I don't know if you guys can see that. All that stuff ends up in the weapon mechanism, and it's starting to slope the weapon a little bit. What are your thoughts? Yeah. They're fun. They're fun. It's pretty fun. But like I said earlier. It's also fun to just sit in the mirror and just hit curls, you know. This is going to be the, right here is going to be the, uh, what's it called? 
the capture yeah. whatever you would want we're just both flexing um it is fun to stand in the mirror and do curls but it you still got to have back yeah you know what i'm saying back, you still gotta have back, shoulders your shoulders like yeah it's fun but it's one reload ones are fun but uh not everything but they're fun just like curls yeah all right let, oh man we got to put up fresh paper yeah look at that all right i'll get some fresh paper here talk to him do you want to talk to him about something one reload ones talk to him about what got you into training boom there you go okay so what got me into training right so I realized that my weapon skills weren't the greatest. And so I, you know, hit up my buddy Trench and we just started coming out to the range on a regular basis, like every weekend and we would shoot and it's going pretty good so far. Um, like we just said, one reload once, it's not everything. It's fun, but you have to have that good balance of like training on different types of drills. Um, it's going pretty good so far, it's pretty fun. But uh, we hit some other drills here today to keep that good balance. Are you getting awkward by yourself? Was he getting awkward by himself? No, I got. Oh, I don't even know if I have to edit that out. That's would be a good test. You know what I mean? Yeah. Guys, if Big Will was getting awkward by himself, post down below. We're trying other, to keep it light. Are we doing? We're doing this one. Okay. Fresh paper. You don't want to like do individual? Yeah, individual. What no, do you I mean? mean like, both at the same time? How's that gonna work? No, I mean. So I know what I'm shooting and you know what you're Oh, shooting. we'll mark them as we go. Go ahead, get in there. Get up in there. Ears and eyes. Ears and eyes. Ears and eyes. McCluskey's fluttery range. Shooter ready. Stand by. Wait. Shooter ready. Stand by. Okay, two alphas. I'll try to pan. Well, they're not even going to be able to see. I'll try to pan when you're... Nope, it's just a lost cause. We're just going to do them all and then mark them. Shooter ready, stand by. Okay, all out so far. I'll just move it right there. Is it getting gr gritty yet? Oh, yeah. Shooter ready, stand Oh, that was in a 4.48. I guess I should read the times. All alpha so far as i awkwardly smile at the camera behind you don't be awkward man don't be an awkward that was in a 4.17 shooter ready stand by oh charlie okay redemption shooter uh 4.39 he has two charlies so far shooter ready stand by But French, I do one reload ones because I want to get muscle memory for reloading. Okay. All right. 5.63. You do you, gamer. You do you. Want to do one more? Yeah. One more. One more. Shooter ready. Stand by. All right. Time 4.70. Let's go mark it up. Let's go mark it up. I guess we should start using the tripod more. Yeah, we should. When so actually, keep holding it. like getting in front of the camera, you know, guys. Hopefully, you can see. Well, then this is why right here. There you go. Okay, here we go. Alpha, 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 alpha. Charlie, Charlie. You guys are just shooting into the dirt, wasted ammo. There's no reason to do one reload once. I'm gonna put seventeen in you. I'm a oh. <laughs> You can go for it, Sonny. I'm going to put 17 in you. <laughs> Guys, if you know you're a FUD, stop. Just don't be a FUD. I wish we could expand on the story. We're, I just got a Charlie, by the way. I wish we could expand on the story we're telling him about. Yeah. Let's, let's save that for another day. Yep. That was in a 4.12. Don't do it, Sonny, or I'll put 17 in you. <laughs> My man probably eat 17 cheeseburgers. <laughs> oh. I'm going to come back and my car is going to be gone. <laughs> He's watching. Oh, he probably is. Get him out here doing some one reload ones. 3.63. 
I guess we should get your thoughts. What are your thoughts on FUDs? This old fat dude's annoying. Annoying, okay. That's you gotta, super you gotta, annoying. You gotta expand a little bit on it. I mean, there's not much else to say. Like, what's your worst FUD? Clearly, clearly, if they're overweight, you know, they're not getting that wholesome training in. They're not getting that fitness in. And then they may or may not be good on the range. Who knows? But in the long run, you know, they're not going to be able to keep up. But, Sonny, I'm going to put 17 in you. Holy cow. Put 17 in me. Probably run a 17-minute one mile. <laughs> That's not... And I take it for most of these guys. <laughs> Honestly. One mile? Yeah. Telling you. Okay. Ooh. So this weapon is getting so gummed up that the... Here, I'm just going to get some of that crap out of there. It's getting so gummed up that the slider leaves doesn't want to work. I mean, we're getting sand up in there. I mean, we are putting a thousand mags full of just mud, but still, I mean, has yours got, had that happened yet? No. So the Glock has been running fine, but for whatever reason, the Beretta, oh man, look how dirty this thing looks. I don't know if they can fully see up in there. I mean, there's just sand everywhere up in there. Oh yeah, guys, if you're a FUD, don't. Don't. Just don't. Just don't. All right, we want to close this thing out? Yeah. Come on over here. Let's close it out. All right, guys. Sponsors, Palmetto State Armory, Right to Bear, legal insurance with weapons go hand in hand, okay? Check out the links below. <sighs> One reload once. We had fun. A lot of fun. We burned a lot of ammo. We, let's see your glide. Is you, you empty? Go ahead and uh, unload and we'll show them. We'll show them the difference here. Okay, um, let's show them. So, I don't know if you guys can just see the difference. I mean, his is, doesn't look so dirty. I'll show I'll show them for mine because mine's easy to break down. Okay, um, I'll pr probably get in trouble from YouTube. So, this thing has just got, oh my gosh. Lord. This thing is just covered in sand, mud. Okay, so one reload once. If you're doing it in the sand, you will test the reliability of your weapon. Uh, this thing is completely just disgusting. It honestly, it looks pretty cool. But uh, with the tan, you know what I mean? But yeah, guys, one reload ones are like biceps. They're, they're good as long as you're hitting back and shoulders when you hit the biceps too. The movement and the actual follow-up shots. All right, guys, it's going to be Trish Grenade and Big Will signing out. Check the link, uh, the thing below for his Instagram. And uh, yeah, don't be that guy. Peace.